Hi everybody, this is Bogast Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the McFarlane Toys Target Exclusive Deluxe Box Manga Spawn figure. So before we take a look at Manga Spawn, let's take a look at all of the numerous accessories that he comes with. First up, he comes with your standard spawn base, but he has really big flat feet, so he stands pretty well on his own without this stand. Up next, he comes with this really, really awesome translucent green shield, and I love the sculpt work to it. There you can see the spawn logo on the shield, and that looks so awesome. I think originally it was supposed to be a solid collar, but McFarlane ended up doing it in green translucent plastic, and it looks fantastic. Up next, he comes with two knives. These are done in silver and that translucent green collar, and that's what the rest of his weapons are done in as well. He has storage for the knives there on his hips. You just plug them into the hips like that, and they stay on really well, even when you're posing the figure around. They might uh, move up and down a little bit, but that's it. They won't fall out, and I really like that. Up next, he comes with a sword and huge spear. And finally, he comes with this axe-type weapon. And all of these weapons have some excellent sculpt detail to them. And he also has storage on his back for all of the weapons. And I really like how this looks. You can see how all of them are pegged in there. And they stay in really well. I love that he has that built-in storage for all of his weapons. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So I really like the way this head sculpt looks. It's sculpted very nicely. He has that bright green for the eyes, some really nice silver collars, some wings there behind the ears. I really like the way this looks. The original Manga Spawn, I think he was done in like a dark red color and white. And this one is done in more classic Spawn collars. And I really like the way it looks. It has a ton of sculpt detail to it. You can see the skulls right there for where his cape is normally attached. You get this huge skull shoulder pad. That looks really nice. Some really good sculpt detail to that. Some good sculpt detail over here to the right shoulder pad with the spikes. It has silver painted in the lines there. That looks really awesome. Now, he could have used just a little more paint because aside from the silver and red colors, there's not any other paint on him. But I still think it looks really good because, as I said, he has a bunch of sculpted detail to him. Honestly, this design kind of reminds me of Gundam Robots. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this uh, Spawn figure, and I really like that. Um, it kind of also gives me Optimus Prime vibes from uh, Transformers. He has some more silver painted in the lines on his right gauntlet right here. You get this huge blade on his right forearm, and that looks really awesome. It's warped just a little bit. Um, that's the way I got it in the package. He has some more great sculpt detail to the legs. He has his really big right boot with the skull sculpted on there and some really big spikes. Done in that shimmery red color. Um, this piece right here is really soft rubber so that doesn't hinder the articulation. He also has a very, very nice fabric cape. It drapes really nicely on the figure and it's a nice material. Um, my only complaint is that um, on the design, on the back of the packaging, it has cuts all the way up. It kind of reminds me of uh, Mr. Sinister's cape. So yeah, that part isn't quite accurate. But honestly, I kind of like the way this looks. I think that looks really awesome. So now let's go ahead and go over his articulation. So first up, Manga Spawn has a ball jointed head that can look up all the way. He can look down all the way. He can move his head side to side. The shoulder pads are on ball joints, similar to Overkill. So whenever you want to pose the figure around, uh, the shoulder pads don't hinder the articulation. I really like that. That's really awesome that these are on ball joints so you can move them however you need them whenever you're posing the figure around. Uh, there you can see the shoulder joints that can move all the way out here. Well, this one can't quite move all the way out because of the shield there that I have attached. He has swivel with the bicep that can move side to side. He has single jointed elbow that can bend in that far. He has ball jointed wrists and they're a little bit hindered. Um, they can move up and down and side to side very slightly. On this right side, it's a little more hindered because of that huge blade right there. He has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back very slightly. He can crunch forward all the way. He can move side to side. He has ball jointed hips that can do a complete split. Oops, I'm bending the knives there. So he can do a complete split. And this is my main problem with this figure is he can only kick forward that far. It does hit on the plastic and if you move it any farther, it is going to chew that plastic up. So that is unfortunate. I do think if he would have had uh, drop down ball joints that would have improved the figure a lot. 
Um, that's, like I said, that's really my only complaint, is that there should have been drop-down hips, because the way it's sculpted, if you move it out any further, it is going to chew the plastic up. But, uh, moving it back, it's not hindered at all. So maybe they should have just left some more clearance right there. Um, he has swivel at the thigh, single-jointed knee that can bend back that far, and ball-jointed ankles that can move down all the way, up just a little bit, and spin all the way around. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here he is next to the Overkill Mega Figure, and Overkill is just a little bit taller than him. Here he is next to Ninja Spawn, and finally here he is next to the Spawn Figure from the Throne with a custom cape that I made. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this up because he is really awesome. I just really love this design. I've seen this figure getting a lot of hate, and the only real thing that could be improved is the articulation there on the hips where it kicks forward, and it could have used just a little more paint. But other than that, I think this figure is really awesome. I really love the design. He's got some really good sculpt work, and he comes with a ton of accessories. Spawn is always going to be overkill on the weapons. So yeah, definitely pick this up if you see it. Um, there is also a signed version that's coming out soon. It is also a Target exclusive, but I'm not sure if it's sold out. I think it keeps coming in and out of stock, so if that's a version you'd be interested in, definitely keep an eye out on that. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.